Now let's say we are given the interest rate tree below here and we are asked to find the correct price for a 3 year annual pay bond with a coupon rate of 8% with a par value of $100. So if you plot the cash flow on the timeline, we will have coupons of $8 in year 1, 2 and 3. And on top of that in year 3 we will have the par value of $100. So if we plot this cash flow out on this interest rate tree, okay, so in time tree, I will have $108, okay, and we'll list that down three times, okay, for each of the interest rate. And then, uh, of course, in time two, we also have, uh, remember to list down the coupon here, $8, $8, and then for time one as well, okay, there's another $8 here, just list it down to make it convenient. So now what we do is we discount each of these uh, cash flow back to the previous period using the one period forward rate. So first off, for, uh, for this $108, for this $108, I'll discount it back at 10%. So if I take $108 discounted at 10%, right, so that will give us a value of 98.182. Then for the next $108, if I discount it at 8%, that will give us $100. Then for the last cash flow, if I discount it back at 6%, that will give us V equal 101.887. Now next thing is to discount it back again to time one, but this time we'll take uh, the average of each knot's cash flow. So let's say for this period in time one, we have 7%. So we'll use this to discount these two values. Okay, so we'll just take the weightage of uh, 0 0.5 for each knot. So just average out. So I will take half. So to get the value here, okay, I will take half of the two values. So I'll take uh, 0 0.5 times 98.182 plus 100. And then I'll add in the coupon, $8 then I will discount it at 7%, right? So that will give us a value of 100.085. And then for the next two cash flow here, for 100 and 101.887, we'll discount it back at 7, uh, 5 percent So the value here will be based on 0 0.5 times the average, okay? Uh, the sum of 100 and 101.887. Then we'll add in the coupon, $8 here, then we'll discount this at 5%, so that will give us 103.756. And then lastly, we'll discount these two values back to the first period, time zero, okay, where the discount rate is 4%. So the value at time zero will be based on 0 0.5. Again, uh, is 0 0.5 here, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And then uh, we'll take 0 0.5 of the sum of the two values, 100.085 plus 103.756. And then we plus the coupon, $8. Then we discount it at 4%. So that will give us 105.693. Okay, so that's how you use the backward induction valuation methodology to get the correct price, okay, or the arbitrage free value of the bond.